music games in the U.S. had a hard time before the Guitar Hero age. We'd always get the flimsiest DDR pads, the shakiest red octane guitar freaks guitars, and don't even get me started on drum mania or para para paradise kits. You were usually better off just buying a ticket to Tokyo. But in 2006, Konami gave the US what we'd always been wanting, or some of us anyway, a high quality music peripheral topping even what was available to the Japanese market at the time. That said, they only ever gave us one game with which to utilize it. Oh well, you take what you can get, and then you import the rest. Beat Mania, as you can learn about from the fantastic review on CGR Undertow, is a DJ simulating music game and was the progenitor of the entire Bimani series that would eventually become famous for Dance Dance Revolution, Poppin' Music, and a bunch of games made laughably redundant by the emergence of Guitar Hero and Rock Band. The American PS2 release shipped with a sturdy, sizable, and just downright respectable interface device, incorporating seven responsive, spring-loaded buttons in a kind of keyboard arrangement and a turntable for scratching. I haven't actually seen a Beatmania arcade machine in person for quite a while, but if this device isn't at the arcade spec, it's damn close. Using this $1.75 in change, you can get an idea of the size of the keys and the record. I'm a fairly large guy with big hands, and I still have a lot of real estate to navigate. It's comfortable, if a little shifty if you don't have it on the right surface. One of the most innovative aspects of this deck is the ability to remove the keypad section, flip it 180 degrees, and snap it back into place. This gives the same basic configuration, but now with the turntable on the right as opposed to the left. Putting a regular and flopped controller adjacent to each other mimics the original arcade configuration and is optimal for playing the advanced 14 button and 2 turntable doubles mode. Also, it can be more comfortable if you're a southpaw, or if, hey, you just prefer it that way. There's only one Beat Mania release in the West, and that's a shame. Konami's music games have fallen on hard times, what with the Wii release of pop and music being more or less a joke, and Rock Revolution having fallen on its face. Those brave enough to explore the import market will find no fewer than 14 Beat Mania offerings for the PS2, though. However you can get your hands on the games, you certainly want to obtain this American version of the deck. <laughs> 